Hey friends, Rob here. Welcome to Chine Coaching. So good to see you. We are at the beach here in Florida on a fun family vacation. And as you guys are doing your internships this summer, this video is going to really help you. Sujay um, is sharing about his internship at New York Life, where he learned so much the differences between office culture from India and Eastern cultures to Western and American culture. He's going to share how he developed specifically during his internship and some key lessons learned it will help you, and he's applying in his full-time OPT job search now. So check out this video. Uh, it's going to be really helpful. <sighs> Sujay, what would you say is maybe the biggest cultural difference in terms of office culture or workplace culture from your jobs back in India to your job in America? Oh, there, there's a huge uh, cultural difference between how uh, American workplaces operate versus how Indian workplaces operate. In India, it's much more secretive. You only have your feedback once in a year where you, where you learn how good or bad you were at the end of the year in, okay. in America it's much more transparent it's much more uh, feedback oriented you learn as you go uh, you can you can always uh, uh, seek cr uh, criticism and uh, okay. you, you know how you're, you're doing whether you're good at it you're bad at it or where you can always improve yeah that's that's uh, one different thing about uh, uh, the US and also you can reach out to people if, if you're not interested in what you're doing right now you can definitely reach out to other teams and ask what, what they're trying to do just ask for a couple of hours and you can ask your questions about how their teams operate and if you are a good fit in their team mm. and ask about how you can work for them or maybe in the next uh, you know, internship that you want to do mm, yeah it's very team and help work oriented exactly you, you told me a story how if you got stuck on something and you ask someone else, even outside of your team, in a different team or department, they'd give you two, four, six hours of their own time to help you make it right. Exactly, yeah. It, it didn't matter if, if he was not associated with your team or he didn't have any, uh, oh, what do you guys say, uh, incentive of helping you. Mm -hmm. they, would, they would definitely be, be more than happy to help you out and spend all of their time to help you out so that you succeed. Uh, that, that's one difference that I found uh, with the American uh, mm -hmm. workers. Sujay, what's maybe one of the biggest ways that you personally either grew or changed or developed from getting the opportunity to work in America? Uh, what I learned was Ask, ask for work, ask for uh, uh, you know opportunities, ask for uh, criticism, ask for constructive feedback. So that that's how you learn, that's how you grow, and that's how you you uh, make your uh, internship into a career that you want to head head into, right? Yeah. So that that's one thing that I learned uh, through this uh, internship opp opportunity at New York. Right? So being an initiative taker, exactly, it's a huge part yeah. not just of American culture, but especially in the workplace, in some other parts of the world. You know, it's just kind of this is the job you do and the list you follow and. Once you've done it, you wait till you get your list again. But in America, it's all about taking initiative, um, you know, taking the steps, being proactive um, versus reactive. And that's great that you got to learn about that. Yeah, because before this job, I was the biggest in introvert you would ever meet. But then I learned uh, here that people are very reserved and they only stick to their their uh, work and. Uh, their stuff but once you reach out once you talk to people you know that they're, they're more than happy to you know uh, give you advice uh, help you out with stuff and mm -hmm. uh, and they don't have any uh, yeah reservations in uh, helping you out because they want they somehow want you to succeed and they want you to do well in your internship and they want you to have the best time uh, during your internship and take away uh, uh, as part of your internship. Mm. Was there any uh, fun or funny stories or moments that you had from your working in, at New York Life? I mean, I, I could definitely uh, tell an interesting story. Like uh, when we, uh, when I was in, uh, uh, du during the orientation in, uh, in New York uh, life, I got to travel to New York, where uh, we we went to the actual cellars where there were strong uh, strongholds, where actual documents of the rich and famous were kept, and uh, how how uh, P T Burnham. Uh, owned uh, uh, life insurance at uh, New York Life and how when the place got burned down they bought that uh, from uh, P.T. Burnham and the original Madison Square Garden was where uh, the current uh, New York Life building is. Wow and that's from the Greatest Showman movie. Exactly yeah everybody's talking about that movie right Yeah now. yeah so fun kind of historical fact that you got to learn about your company. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. So Suji now that you've been through this whole work experience you've completed your CPT how many months was that? Uh, it was around six months. Yeah, so about six months of CPT experience. What did you learn and how has that prepared you now for as you finish college and look for full time? You know, how are you going to approach that now? I mean, through the internship, I've, I've grown a lot. I've learned a lot of new skills. I've learned a lot about myself, where, where I need to improve myself, what I can, uh, you know, uh, 
like remove myself i mean everybody has some good qualities and some bad qualities right so i think uh, there's something that i can leave out there's something that i can grow so yeah it was it was really an eye opening uh, experience for me you know yeah that's awesome Hey friends, I hope that video was really helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below on something key you learned or also just how your internship is going this summer. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so you get notifications and leave a big like if that video um, really helped you. Let's connect online on social media, on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and continue the conversation. We're looking forward to see you guys in the next Chai Coaching video. Take care and see you later from the beach here in Florida.